Melting glaciers and rising seas in Greenland, raging fires in Northern California, the relentless drought in Somalia, and the disappearing Amazon forests. The virtual reality series called Ice, Fire, Famine and Feast by filmmakers Eric Strauss and Dan Fung Dennis immerses viewers into the extremes of Earth's changing climate. Hopefully when someone watches the whole series drives home this idea that there's no hiding from this. This is coming for all of us. Regardless of where we live or what our income is, it's going to affect everyone and that hopefully drives home the urgency that this is something that all nations need to really pay attention to and, and start combating. At the festival's headquarters in Washington, D.C., viewers get a 360-degree view of the effects of climate change through VR goggles. Some people have a very visceral, physical reaction where they jump or they kind of yelp um, because they're very surprised by what they see. And other people, I think, are very reflective and you know can even be sad depending on the content. Viewer James Willard describes the experience of watching the installment feast about the deforestation of the Amazon rainforests to make space for industrial-sized cattle ranches to satisfy the global appetite for beef. You're c completely immersed in this whole situation, in this whole story. You're facing these animals eye to eye and watching them as they're marching basically towards their death. The film needs no dialogue. Virtual reality is about experience. It's actually kind of stripping away a lot of the information, putting you in environments that you then experience for yourself. You're much more of a protagonist in some way in these types of stories than you would be in a, in a traditional form of cinema. Another viewer, Patricia, has just watched Famine, the episode that looks at the effects of extreme drought in Somalia. It's, it just makes it even more um, powerful because you feel like you're there. And I think it's a great medium to spread the word on critical subjects. That is the goal, to, to affect change, to affect positive change. VR films are becoming more accessible as the technology evolves and are often viewed on smartphone applications. But VR programmer Ken Jacobson says watching them through a virtual reality headset is still the best way to experience them. I think there'll continue to be developments in the technology of the headset, so pretty soon people will not be so conscious uh, uh, of the headset and also the optics will improve. But can virtual reality ever replace the traditional 2D or even 3D films? I think that it's going to add another aspect to how we're going to experience movies and such, but I don't think that it's going to take over. Virtual reality, I feel like, can be very dangerous <laughs> at times because you're completely immersing yourself within this story. Some people will be able to take it and then take off the goggles and then live life as normal, but some people might not be able to do so. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to completely take over. Penelope Pulu, POA News, Washington.